Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nish Kumar Singh and we are talking about UFT tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be getting into understanding some of the recording modes available in UFT, which allows you to do certain recording steps which might not be possible normally. So for your kind information, we have four different recording modes available in UFT. When it comes to recording, we have default recording mode, we have analog recording mode, we have low level recording mode, and also the insight recording mode. And all of these are uniquely created for different purposes. And that's what we will be understanding one after the other. In today's tutorial, we'll be understanding that how exactly analog tutorial or analog recording would be quite helpful for us when it comes to capturing certain events, which might not be possible while writing the script. Now that's where you will understand the meaning of recording something using a particular test tool and that is UFT for us. So let's get started and understand how to use analog recording mode in UFT. As a part of this tutorial, we will be getting into the different recording modes in UFT. We have several recording modes in UFT which can be used at different point of time for different user actions or object identification. We will be exploring them one after the other in our upcoming tutorials. But today we are getting started with understanding an overview of recording modes in UFT and also understanding the first recording mode called as analog recording mode. In order to get started, the very first thing we need to understand that what recordings are basically used for when it comes to automation testing tool. When it comes to automation testing tool, it's very really different to have an uh, application stable enough to record something on it and prepare your basic functional test. Of course, for regression testing, recordings are very useful because you can save a lot of your time to capture your scripts and events just for once and then run them as often you want it. But when it comes to basic functional testing, most of the time your applications are under development or are in unstable state. That means you cannot identify and capture the properties which could be definitely difficult to be maintained from time to time. So recording is not an option for the basic functional testing at early stages of your life cycle or early phases of your application. Then where, what exactly this recording mode is being used for? Use for certain activities where you generally cannot capture an event or if you cannot write a script of that step which you can perform in the application. Now, let me just take you first to the problem and make you understand that what we are talking about and how to resolve it using one of our recording modes today. Before that, I would like to show you when you come to the recording options here, which basically shows you a few of the options listed here at the recording options. So you do have four different recording modes in UFT. The one is called as default, second is analog, the third is low level recording, and the fourth is insight recording. Each one of them are made for a specific reason and we will be understanding them in detail in different tutorials. We have already covered the default recording mode in our second tutorial. So if you want to quickly refer that how do you generally record, then by default the recording happens in the default recording mode and in our second tutorial we have recorded a session to see that how you can capture events and activities by doing a default recording. But of course the today we are talking about analog recording which also has an icon stating mouse. That means analog recording is something which is created for capturing the mouse events. And generally using mouse you do some common events like double click or drag and drop and these sort of events may not be captured by UFT in default recording mode. But at the same time you may have a question. If analog is smarter than default then why don't we start with analog directly and go with default instead of getting the eight failures and then switching to analog. Now we have certain criteria to be fulfilled before we go to analog. So let's have a look on the scenario example. For that I'm just putting it off so that we are not in UFT and I'm taking a best example to understand the mouse actions which is paint. I hope one of you or all of you would have definitely exercised paint at certain point of time and the paint is the best example of drag and drop operation of windows which allows you to understand that you can paint anything but with help of mouse. You cannot use any of the keyboard actions in order to paint something. Now if I want to record anything on my paint using this particular UFT 
it I may face some challenges let's do that and understand so let me take up a new test here and uh, we'll be clicking on record and using the default recording mode to do this recording part so let's come to the action click on record button and uh, say OK and that's where you are in paint now so let's try creating some rectangular boxes here something like this let's create some oval which is again a drag and drop and then maybe pick up pencil and try drawing something and I'm not so good at drawing here but I'm just trying to make something so that it looks meaningful so probably it looks like a house and uh, that's it I just click on stop recording when I come back to UFT what is that I see here I see that there are certain things which I clicked on the ribbon which are captured here for example I went to Windows Paint Win Object Ribbon One List Shapes and clicked on Rectangle but what did I do after that is not being captured here similarly I went to the shapes and picked up the oval as an item or option in that but again I could not do or could not capture anything what I did after that similarly when I picked up pencil I clicked on that but I did not capture anything about what I did but you saw that I did a lot of drawing now that's where the limitation of default recording mode is it's not a limitation of UFT it's a limitation of default recording mode that you cannot capture everything which a mouse does which is probably the double clicks or maybe the drag and drop operation so sometimes it becomes difficult to test such applications where you have drag and drag or drop operations or probably a signature window on any particular application. Now how to resolve this issue using analog? Let's try to do that. So I'm just clearing this script and going to record once again. Before that let me just make it new so that we have a fresh window. Let's go to record and uh, this time I'm gonna switch directly to analog recording mode and he's asking me which window are you going to record the uh, you know analog recording on that means do you want to relate uh, record relative to the screen or only on a particular window remember team if you want to record analog activities or analog actions throughout different multiple pages or multiple applications then you go with the first option if you want to only restrict your analog recording to a particular screen that means if anything pops up in between and you have to perform that activity should not be captured as an automation script then you can just choose the second option and mark him with the right object so here I'm saying record relative to the following window only that means if I go into any other application it will not capture those events so click on this hand button here and show him the title bar of the paint so it will capture the name of it and say start analog recording and now you start going and do whatever you want probably again we go with the shapes then I go with the pentagon and then I go with a pencil and draw something and uh, yep maybe some more diagrams and you say stop recording here now what do you see in the script no, we just have one line script at least last time we had three lines of script but this time just once so let's try running this and see what exactly happens so for that I need to give him the fresh window of course so that you don't feel it is overwritten and let's go back to this and click on replay wow now that thing is working pretty well compared to the previous one where it could not even capture anything but yeah it did all the activities what we were supposed to do and it has even passed but the problem is we just have one particular script in our window right we just have one particular line so if in case it becomes something like you know parameterizing or passing custom values to the script that becomes more complex in the analog because analog is a video recording of your screen using the mouse activities your mouse actions are captured in a recorded file and this is just playing back that video file respect to that particular application now that's where we understand that analog has a drawback 
that it does not break up each of your activities into multiple steps. Thus, we do not use analog for everything. So what is that you do? You combine default with analog to have the perfect script which you are looking for. Now in order to do that, I am just going to erase this once again. Take up a new file. Sorry, no need to save such drawings. And then come back to the UFT. And I say record this time. Now wherever possible, I will record default. For example, when I click on this rectangle option, Okay, I click on rectangle option and then I say switch to analog and relative to this particular window. Start analog recording. I draw this. Then I switch back to default. Click on pencil icon and then I say I go to analog. Again say relative to this particular window and start analog recording and draw something which is like this or maybe anything which you would love to write here and then turn it back to the default and say stop recording now if you see your script it looks more meaningful compared to the previous one it has the steps which you did in default mode then there is a track which will be repeated as a video playback and then the track 3 for the pencil activities now let's run this together on this application. Now what's the benefit of combining the default with the analog or just not using one alone? that if I tomorrow want to change some of these actions for example instead of rectangle I want to select any other option or if I want to parameterize it and pass multiple options I can do that because I have not recorded the entire script into analog that's the best part of it so generally it's not recommended that just because one of your activity is not being captured by default you record entire thing in analog because analog will give you just one line of script and may not allow you to change the options using the other features of the application. So that was all about analog recording mode. We will be getting back to you with other recording modes in UFT. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.